welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and I have two little orders of business to get into prior to our story today. And uh, the first is something I thought long and hard about whether to even say anything during this uh, during this podcast. I know for the, anyone who has a screen, whether it's a computer, a phone, or a TV, over the last few days, you kind of know what's going on right now. And uh, I hope that all of you that are within those troubled areas that you are safe. Um, if you aren't in those areas and you know someone who is, please reach out to them and check up on them. Make sure that everything's okay in their area if they need anything or whatnot. It's always good to check up. Even when everything is going good, it's always good to check up on your friends, family, and neighbors. It's always good to do that. But I would be remiss if I at least d- didn't take an opportunity to read something that I had uh, written yesterday you can do with it as you please, and uh, I don't want to go down the rabbit hole like many other people have and will do. This is something I'd written on my business page, The Bearded Detailer, um, and it goes a little something like this. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our prosperity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. This country was founded by and is made up of imperfect people. Therefore, it is also not perfect. However, it was never designed to be perfect, and neither were we. We should always strive to be better than we were yesterday and hold those accountable for the wrongs they commit. That's all I really have to say about what's going on. Be a better person than what you were yesterday and hold people accountable for their wrongdoings. Simple as that, I think. I don't think that's too controversial of an ideology. Now, let's move on back to the purpose of this podcast. And I have two birthdays to go over today. The first is today, actually, June 3rd, 1943, Robert O'Malley. He turned 77 today. He was a sergeant from the Vietnam War that received his Medal of Honor from President Johnson on the 6th of December, 1966. So a very happy 77th birthday to Mr. Robert O'Malley. I covered his story back on episode number 66, so I will have a link in the description in the show notes so that you can go check that out. Also, on Friday, June 5th, Peter Lemon will be turning 70. So his birthday was June 5th, 1950. He is also a Vietnam War recipient. So a very happy 70th birthday to him on Friday. And again, a happy birthday to Robert O'Malley today. Wishing you two the best. So now we're going to move right along to episode number 312. Delbert was born in Silver City, New Mexico on the 23rd of July, 1936, and he enlisted in the U.S. Army at the age of 20 in San Francisco, California. Ten years later, he was a staff sergeant with 1st Battalion Airborne, 12th Cavalry Regiment, 1st Air Cavalry Division, and it was his actions at Firebase Bird in the Republic of Vietnam that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of life above and beyond the call of duty, Part of Company C was defending an artillery position when attacked by a North Vietnamese Army regiment supported by mortar, recoilless rifle, and machine gun fire. At the outset, Staff Sergeant Jennings sprang to his bunker, astride the main attack route, and slowed the oncoming enemy wave with highly effective machine gun fire. Despite a tenacious defense in which he killed at least 12 of the enemy, his squad was forced to the rear. After covering the withdrawal of the squad, he rejoined his men, destroyed an enemy demolition crew about to blow up a nearby howitzer, and killed three enemy soldiers at his initial bunker position. 
Ordering his men back into a secondary position, he again covered their withdrawal, killing one enemy with the butt of his weapon. Observing that some of the defenders were unaware of an enemy force in their rear, he raced through a fire-swept area to warn the men, turn their fire on the enemy, and lead them into the secondary perimeter. Assisting in the defense of the new position, he aided the air landing of reinforcements by throwing white phosphorus grenades on the landing zone, despite dangerously silhouetting himself with the light. After helping to repulse the final enemy assaults, he led a group of volunteers well beyond friendly lines to an area where eight seriously wounded men lay. Braving enemy sniper fire and ignoring the presence of booby traps in the area, they recovered the eight men, who would have probably perished without early medical treatment. Staff Sergeant Jennings' extraordinary heroism and inspirational leadership saved the lives of many of his comrades and contributed greatly to the defeat of a superior enemy force. His actions stand with the highest traditions of the military profession and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the U.S. Army. Almost two years later, Delbert received the Medal of Honor from President Johnson in a ceremony on the South Lawn at the White House on the 19th of September, 1968. He would be stationed in West Germany until 1971 and continued to serve in the Army, reaching the rank of Command Sergeant Major until his retirement in 1985. Delbert Owen Jennings died at the age of 66 on the 16th of March, 2003. He was originally buried in the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific, also known as the Punchbowl Cemetery in Hawaii, but was later reinterred and now lays in Arlington National Cemetery, Section 7A, Lot 157. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.